I'm coming to your city. Well, that is if you live in Ridgefield, Washington, just outside of Portland, Oregon. I'm coming to the Alani Casino. Denver, Colorado, I'm coming to you. And Mohegan Sun Arena, I'm coming back to you. July 9th for Ridgefield, July 23rd for Denver, and September 3rd for Mohegan Sun. The pre-sale is going on right now. Use the promo code TOMMY, T-O-M-M-Y. Get tickets at tomsegura.com slash tour. Oh no! Don't don't I don't, don't know take. That I can t- well, oh man, you gotta off. take your headphones off. That's a rookie move. Yeah. <laughs> Leave the shirt on. I would say. You think he, you think he's from Boston? Because those are some <laughs> massive huge takes. <laughs> well, welcome, welcome to your mom's house. This episode of Your Mom's House is brought to you by Sattva. Go to Sattva, S-A-A-T-V-A dot com slash the shit and get $200 off any mattress of your choice. Ready Jeez. in cinco, cuatro, tres, Ugh. dos. I, I hate his Welcome. Castilian I accent. Know. It's Another not episode it. of Your Mom's House. Watch for waspies. <laughs> um, here we are. Hi. Hi. I love you. Love you too. What's your name? My name is Tom. How how are you? What you do, Big what? Nick? Remember that song? <laughs> What's your name? Big Nick. What you do? Slang Dick. Yeah, <laughs> I remember that. Yeah, mm-hmm. he did. He fucked everybody on the seventh floor. That's right. Yeah, that's right. Everybody. If your hoe only knew, knew that she was getting mudded by the whole damn, damn crew. crew. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Hot sauce is the best. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh. oh, damn. Putting putting beats together uh, today, man. Uh, let me tell you, too, because from where my mom's at yesterday, we yeah. shot, and he's not happy about where this is the best. What do you mean? He's getting nervous. What? Bro, I, fuck, I said something about, I don't know, something else, and I was just like, yeah, something, something, something. Like, it's the best, man. Like, then I just stopped. <laughs> I was like, is it the best? I don't know. <laughs> Should I should I not say that? Oh man! Well, isolate that for you and send it over. To <laughs> he's getting cool. nervous because he's like Tom's well, gonna get on no. me. No, and I go. Well, first of all, you said it's the best. You didn't say the phrase is hot sauce is the best, right? Mm-hmm. It's a different thing. Hopefully. Totally different thing. Yeah. Yeah. And by the way, it is. It's great. Hot sauces. I used hot sauce this morning. Yeah. I used that green. Um, Cholula. Cholula. That's your whole new jam. I like jams. that green one so much. I, well, I didn't even know it existed until you pointed it out. And also, breaking news. Yeah. I had four eggs over hard. Yes. Didn't diarrhea anymore. Not yet. You know, that's kind of <laughs> what I like to see right there. That's a good staff. That's a well-trained staff. <laughs> what do you think the secret is? But you put hot sauce on it as well. I know. I think... I honestly think I was just doing it so much. I don't mean hot sauce, I mean eggs. Every day. Every day, yeah. huge quantities that, I don't know, something was happening, I was having some sensitivity to it. And when I take a week off, I can have a few and it's fine. That's you, what I'm figuring out. Your butt had become so sensitive. My butt head had become so sensitive. <laughs> that, the, yeah. You had to shit it all out. Yeah. <laughs> that guy's so great. He's, he had become so sensitive. His dick <laughs> Your dickhead become so sensitive. Uh, <laughs> yeah. God, I hate yeah. how he talks. I can't believe how big his dick was. His brother. That's what talking about his brother. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he couldn't believe. I, I couldn't know. believe how big my brother's dick was. You know, some clips, they just grab you and take you. For years, we've been analyzing that guy. Yeah. It's fucking morning. That one's yeah. amazing. Yeah. It's fucking morning. He jacked off in four strokes. You know who I've been thinking about a lot? Glendale Gary. Mm- I have been thinking about Glenn Same, Gale, I Gale, like him. But I keep honestly thinking about play with your cheeks always. All day. Yeah. What what made you reminisce about him? Um I was just th- actually cuz we have one of my friends stopping by today. Yeah. And I was like, I wonder if he's ever seen Leo before. <laughs> 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 he will now. And I'd love to I'd also love to um you know, surprise him. Yeah. Cuz it also, it also, <laughs> Leo starts off. You're just like, who is this shirtless old man? Mm-hmm. What's he, what's he talking what's he about? about? And the way it builds, I love that it builds. You know. Oh, and also he was like, he was like telling that guy, he was like, well, the way that I'm built, 
is such I'm, that I'm, is such that I'm, my balls are set back. And we're like, oh what? what? <laughs> no, I've never heard anybody say that. Well, I think what's fascinating about Leo is how much he discloses. There mm. are no boundaries between us, Tom. It's like what Gar- maybe Garth al- wants to be. It's also this. It's um, it's his sexy talk. You know, yeah. it's sexy time for him. Ugh. And I think it's it's a exposure to what real what a real person is doing it, as opposed to porn your imagination up. or porn yeah. or even a, 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 a non-porn movie where it's like, it's all scripted and choreographed and very, you're like, oh, that's the perfect way you're supposed to say something. Yeah. And him being just so real with like, I'm gonna come quick. <laughs> I think that's, it just makes me laugh. Every I know, but time. even more reason why you want to watch the professionals, right? Well, yeah. I mean, the the professional. That's the thing is you learn, right? Is that a lot of those things are just fantasies. It's a fantasy to talk that way perfectly, to look that way Ugh, perfectly. I know. And that the reality is, it's Leo. It's Leo <laughs> being like, well, well, sh- show me, uh, show me how much you like me. <laughs> oh God. Come on, show me that oh, you like I'm me. Gonna <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's so great. I have no problem swallowing. Yeah. I have no problem swallowing. Yeah. I mean, even if I I'd be like, I mean, I'm stepping up a little, man. I'm trying to get I'm trying to come. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Uh. No. Uh. No more. No more, please. <laughs> and I like that it turns you on too. That's the other part of it that I <laughs> didn't talk about. You know? Yeah. Oh, I can feel it. I want to die. Oh, that's I wanna, gonna be good. I want to die. <laughs> oh, that's gonna be good. That's another thing I've never said or <laughs> heard somebody say. <laughs> you about to come? Yeah, it's gonna be a good one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I keep thinking too, if if his partner had been a woman, Mark. Mark, yeah. like, would a woman be as welcoming to these phrases and, oh, it's going to be good, and uh, uh, you know what I'm well, saying? Look, women thing. aren't it's as a great question, but open I also, to this. I think so, too. but also maybe in, it's not a woman's fantasy to be with that, but maybe the reality is that a guy trying those lines on a, if she liked him, what if, what if Mark was Marilyn and you know, but that's what I'm saying clicked. that that Leo's explicitness works because it's Mark receiving Maybe. the explicit directions. Mm-hmm. I don't know that a girl would be as turned on, but apparently Mark likes really detailed yeah. direction. Yeah. <laughs> Suck it dry. <laughs> Come on, Mark. Don't be stingy. Yeah. yeah. Don't be stingy. And also, and what an interesting word choice. Stingy. I guess if what? you're with somebody, you don't call them out. But he tells a blatant lie. Yeah. What is? Oh, well, it's normal size. No, it's not. It's not because we saw it. Yeah. We saw it about to come, and it was not normal sized. No. And that thing is doesn't get hard. It's not going to get hard till I'm ready to come. <laughs> <laughs> also, that's well, crazy. But wait a minute. Yeah, wait. That's a minute. crazy. We haven't even talked about that. Yeah. That's a medical problem. It's not going to get hard until I'm, I'm ready, ready to, to come. come. So When's it going to get hard? In the last second. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so how was he having butt sexes with Mark? I don't know. He can't. He also didn't have sex. He said he hasn't had sex in a long, long time, you know. Maybe that's why. Yeah. Do you think he it's wasn't his, using it. And then it's it it's his health. Its it might, is, it, is it his obesity he, maybe that he caused He was the, perfect health. What are you talking about? <laughs> um, <laughs> maybe caused his imp- I mean, that sounds really odd to be limp until you come. Yeah. I mean, you see that in porno. That's your pet peeve. You've always told me, like, I hate it when the guy is like fluffing not it, not ready fluffing to, it to not... perform. Yeah, yeah, it's very upsetting. It's funny because <laughs> yeah. I think about it too yeah. when I see it in porn. I'm like, Tom doesn't like this. Tom wouldn't want me watching this clip. Listen, <laughs> if there's one thing I hate, it's soft cocks. Yeah, yeah. yeah. hard dicks only yeah, at yeah. your mom's house. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no limp dicks. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah, never soft at your mom's house, you no. fucking bitch. You fucking limp dick bitch. What would he be saved under? What's his what's his uh, folder called? Uh look for Ed Asner. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Ed Asner. Jesus Please Christ. Rest in peace. Uh, yeah. What a uh, proud legacy for him. Okay. Let's see. <laughs> oh, fuck 
fucking guy. <laughs> this fucking guy. Hey. Can I talk about you for a second? Yeah. Speaking of um, enticing, sexually erotic things that have been happening in the Segura household, you took such a powerful dump the other day because mm-hmm. we had had sushi dinner, right, with all these yeah. different types of fish. So the next morning, both of us had a catastrophe. Yeah. But yours was really unique because because you left s- chunks of caca on the bowl. You okay. left two distinct chocolate smears on the dry part of the bowl. It was so revolting. And I was like, babe, you can clean that off. That's why we have the toilet brush so you can brush it off. Okay. And why wouldn't you grab the toilet brush? I just figured the toilet would rinse it off. It didn't. It didn't. It was there for days. But and, eventually what happened? No, and then you come in like the second day, second night, and you go, babe, babe, I tried peeing on the poo chunks. And yeah, I tried to piss down. them off the side of the bowl. And guess what? Didn't work. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to get every chicken that watches the show all wet right now. <laughs> hmm? Hmm? Yeah. It was really cool for you to share that with me. And and like I blow my nose in my hand. Yeah. I who's grosser now? The guy that pees on his poo chunks or the yeah. girl that blows her nose in her hand occasionally? Yeah. Poo chunks is a no, natural thing. No, poo chunks is way worse. That's a natural thing that happens. <laughs> natural. Well, so is blowing your nose. Not into your hand. It's not. It's the, it's how primitive people did it. First We're not time. primitive people. Sames. So you can you can clean your poo poo chunks. I did eventually. Three days later, it came off. Ugh. How did you get it off eventually? You kept peeing on it. I kissed it off. I went. <laughs> and it fell off the side of the bowl. It was so gross. <laughs> Leo. That's Leo. Yeah, and he's Mark. so passionate. You think he's hard yet? He's not even Fuck hard. no. He can't get hard. He's not hard. So until this he is comes. what came up when I searched that. So I don't think it's called that. Look at those two. Yeah. God. Yeah. That's the thing is you you think you look hot when you make out and you're doing it. Yeah. You don't look. Only the good. pros look good. Only the pros. Yeah. Only the pros. Um, what's it called? It's all uh, angles, folks. Um. What's it called? It's all angles. Bartram uh, has a video of him um, having sex with Leanne <laughs> because he has a Nest camera. Okay, let's yeah. see it. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> oh, I thought he said <laughs> Well, wait. Why is there a Nest camera in their bedroom? It's not. It's in the studio, in his office area. And they fucked in there? In the couch, in the, yeah. In the bear studio? yeah. yeah. Yeah, God damn, they're horny. I didn't realize that. Nah, he said it was 15 seconds. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I thought he sensed it in. I was like, great. He Could said you? he sent in the picture of himself flexing afterwards. Like he was like, ah, like standing there naked. Yeah. Can you imagine Yeah. what he looks like doing it naked? Yeah, it's, I can. Yeah. It's gross. Mm-hmm. He looks worse than us. It's pro- I don't know. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't look good. I'll no. tell you that. I mean, yeah. you and I are gross naked, obviously, both of us. Mm-hmm. Middle-aged people fucking, but then... Look like shit. I would say, and Leanne looks better. I don't know, like, who's better naked as a couple, mm. Bert and Leanne or Tom and Christine? Oh, I'll make you come. Ugh, Tom, um, I'm going to throw up. <laughs> um, I don't know. You know, oh. I like the taste of hard-boiled eggs as they're happening in my mouth, oh. and then after, it's like you've got a, like a fart in your mouth all day. It's so gross. Okay, Jesus. <laughs> here we are, um, going through <laughs> clippity clips. And here we are. We haven't even played the opening clip. Oh goodness! So, you ready? Yeah. We'll start the show officially. Okay. Here, here <laughs> you go. About a year and a half ago, I got some cavities that were surfacing. I got about four cavities in the in my back teeth because I didn't brush back there I didn't brush properly mm. and um, I took a different approach I've been looking into urine therapy oh, fucking for urine about therapy. six months at this time uh-huh. nice so yeah I got suggested mm-hmm. to use the urine as mouthwash 
Who is Randy? <laughs> Don't bring anyone mother to this. It's gonna be a good one. Your mom in the fucking stand! Welcome. <laughs> Welcome to your mom's house. With Tom Segura. <laughs> Tom Segura. And Christina Pajitsi. Christina Pajitsi. Welcome to your mom's house. <laughs> Oh god. Is that your foot? Nope. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you know, um, this urine therapy is not new in the, your mom's house world. You know, people have been convinced that there there's magic properties to urine. You can cure cancer if you drink it. Yeah. Uh, you can enema yourself with your urine to and clean yourself out. If you have eczema, you can bathe in it. Just sit in a tub full of it. This feels urine good. is just this magic cure-all. You know what I, um, but we don't recommend doing any of that, do we? Um <laughs> What I thought, I don't know if this occurred to you. Sure. This kid looks so young, right? Yeah. That's, a, that's like a, he's a very youthful face. I mean, the beard isn't even like a, really like an adult beard. It looks like a, you know what I mean? Like a baby beard. Mm-hmm. I kept going like, oh, his fucking parents are probably yeah. like, oh, <sighs> damn it, Steven, or whatever the <laughs> fuck his name is. Why is he doing, because he's probably like, mom, dad. <laughs> dad I'm not listening yeah. to you anymore, okay? You're in therapy. You know, do you know how I cure these cavities? And the dad's <sighs> like, oh shit, because I just keep thinking about our kids. And like, I know this would be, you know, the two different voices would do it. Like, if if it were Ellis, he'd be like, hey fuckhead, guess what? <laughs> I'd be like, what? He's like, pissing in my mouth. <laughs> I'm like, cool, <laughs> <laughs> fixed everything. I'd be like, Great. Yeah, Ellis would be the one to do. And this. Julian would be all like, I'm embarrassed to tell you. <laughs> But I go pee pee in my mouth. <laughs> like, oh, okay. Yeah, and I, as a parent too, you'd be like, I can give you the three hundred dollars. Yeah. To do this medically correctly, if it, you want to see it a, a dentist, is it a money thing? Is it? A, I have insurance. <laughs> you want a dentist? So how did save it go? Save your money, old man. So, <laughs> I'm pissing in my mouth. So did it work? I'm dying to hear. And at first, I just used the fresh, the fresh urine. <laughs> um, I started out maybe. Just 10 minutes a day. Yeah, that's all you like need. Like five minutes in the morning and then five minutes at night. Of course, you know, hours before or after food. And I would just switch it around in my mouth. And I noticed the, the pain lessen. Mm. But by the way, five minutes is a long time to swish piss in your mouth. Let's it's, be honest. It's a long time to swish anything in your mouth. For five, even brushing with it, the recommended three minutes or whatever, it feels like a fucking eternity. Wait, how long are you supposed to brush your teeth for? Is it three with minutes piss or five? Or, or <laughs> without it. I think without it, like five minutes. Five minutes is a long time. I don't do that. Don't Nobody brush fucking brushes teeth their teeth for, for five minutes. Who's got that kind of time? No, they do that on a cleaning, and you're like, fucking knock it off, man. Yeah, enough. Let's go. Um. No, I mean, if I'm being honest, I feel like minute is tops. Oh, I've right? seen you brush. This is yeah. how you brush. <laughs> and it's done. Yeah. This guy is swishing piss for 10 minutes a day. Yeah. But you know what? It works. <laughs> it's working. It is working. But yeah. when it really started to kick it up was when I started using the aged urine. I just keep it in a jar like this. This is about three months aged urine oh. it actually worked <laughs> and i healed the cavities in two weeks no you didn't two weeks time <laughs> and i barely brushed my teeth to be honest i didn't need to you really should wow this went in a whole a other thrill. direction like i felt i feel it in the back of my it's not only fixing the cavities it's now it's a substitute for brushing i don't need to this is, I feel like this is going to end the way we all know it's going to end, which is a video in like 10 years where he's like, oh, my teeth fell out. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't recommend just using piss. 
to what? maintain your dental hygiene. But can you imagine what his mouth smells like? He's not brushing. And then I think that's what the, why the dentist was like, yeah, Ugh. it's fixed. He was probably like, <laughs> don't come back. Yeah, you're good. You fixed them. <laughs> you fixed them all by yourself. <laughs> After you do this, your your mouth feels so fresh. It just takes all the plaque off your teeth. Mm -hmm. It it feels so good. You feel so fresh. Like, you know, like literally after mouthwash, like it burns a little bit. You know, you can tell it has great benefits. This is such a unique individual that's they're, they they love drinking urine. They love using their pee. Yeah. It's a it's a very it's a very specific type that it, where they have to proselytize to you that it's so good. Yeah. You, got, you you don't even know what you're missing. You got to drink your pee. Like, wow. You can use it for good. your skin. Oh, your skin. It'll right actually skin. help you tan faster, believe it or not. Yeah. Um, I got to get into this. It's great for sunburn. Yeah. You sunburn. Eczema. Like rub it said. on there. If you get bug bites, stops the itching. Pee on those bug bites. Uh, I'll try that. Prevents mosquito bites, some poisonous insects, some That's poisonous snakes. If wow. you put your I urine on there. And it'll act as an anti-poison, um, <laughs> really? anti-fungal, anti-parasitic, anti-bacterial. Really? This is what? I really feel that this has powerful medicinal healing properties. I mean, we got to get into this. I think we're missing out. I feel like he reads Russian philosophy, doesn't he? <laughs> Dostoevsky. Yeah, I don't know if you should do this or not. I don't know if any of this is actually. I accurate. can't. I don't want to talk about it anymore. Well, just I one feel last sick clip. inside. You guys want to go? I don't. I yai yai. Oh, oh <laughs> fuck your mom! Oh God! Oh, I can taste it. I can nice feel it. Can't you wave. feel it? Like you can taste it. Like, you know how pee smells? Can you even imagine? And like when pee's been sitting around in the toilet, like the boys don't flush their toilet for a day oh. and it smells so briny and gross. Oh, fuck. I want to be sick. I, like it. I know. I feel healed. I feel good. <laughs> it's a suntan lotion. Oh. It's a good cure for mosquito bites. So we haven't even addressed that we had Charlotte Stop. Blanca here. I'm still getting over it. And one of the most powerful guest appearances <laughs> ever they were epic that was something and i got i'm so glad that the audience got to see <laughs> charo and how she operates in her real element even like uh talking to the guys they were like i've never seen gaslighting like this before and i was like 40 years of it like i am so exhausted they left yesterday mm -hmm. i fell asleep at like 8 30 last night yeah. and i woke up this morning at seven just like oh god it was so exhausting. Her bet, remember her bet? She was yeah. like, you bet me. And I was like, I did not bet you. Nobody bet you. That trip cost me thousands of dollars. Yeah, what did she end up getting? I mean, I'm trying to think. So, for, but By the way, I thought it was nice that I took my mom and aunt to a mall yeah. and gave them each like a few hundred bucks. Like, you know, cat like- Like teenagers, here's your money, yeah, go play. $300 each of like, not like, First of all, they have these of them have money. Yeah, they're not broke. So I was like, you just a di like whatever you were gonna buy, you now have three hundred dollars more each. It's exciting. They were like, "What's up? What else are you?" <laughs> uh, <laughs> they bought, so they spent that. I got my, I spent a grand on my mom <laughs> for on her cosmetic stuff. Oh, and don't forget, I had my manicurist come to the, to house, the house and do a house call. But don't forget this at the, because this was brought up on that episode. She goes, yeah, but I saved you money <laughs> because I didn't get that one serum. And I was like, you didn't save me money. She goes, yeah, because that would have been another 500 bucks. And I'm like, okay. And then the next day she was like, can we go get that serum? And I go, what if, oh I thought you were going to save me money. Uh, got her AirPods. Right, the ear pods. The Which there's just no way she knows how to use. Can she figure that out? Got a new iPhone. That's the best. Um, which is hilarious because she was she like, "I need this. I need the new watch, like the iWatch, whatever it's called." And I'm like, "Okay." So I just meet her at the Apple store, and she's like, "Let's." I go, "No, let's." This is how I shop. So I walk up to the. I go, <laughs> "Where are the new watches?" And they're like, "Here." I go, "Okay." She wants a new watch. And she's like, yeah, the thing is I have a four and I need the seven. And then the lady checks, she goes, you have a six. 
And she was like, Lies. Oh. Uh, she goes, I guess I don't need the seven. And I'm like, Okay, so what are we doing here? She's like, My phone. I go, Great, where are the phones? And she's like, Right here. I go, Okay, get, give her the new phone. Thanks. And then my mom was like, Gosh, do you like how he shops? I'm like, Are you getting free stuff right now? Take the Is free stuff. Free? Yeah. And she was like, Yeah. I'm like, Okay. So. Like she's criticizing. Criticizing the way that I'm buying her something. I'm yeah. like, I want to leave. That's a gift, by the way, to yeah. criticize someone as they're as buying, they're buying you a brand new iPhone. Wow. Then, um, so I got her that. Wow. Um, then she was like, she goes the whole time, she was like, um, you're going to buy me a car, right? <laughs> so I'm like, sure. Crazy town. So this is like the first time, I, I don't know if I mentioned this on the podcast before, but I've never lived anywhere or even visited somewhere where car dealerships are closed on Sunday. I always thought that was like the day to go car shopping. I've done it everywhere that I've lived. I even go on the road sometimes. I've gone to like look at cars on Sundays. Car dealerships are closed here on Sunday and I didn't know that. So we had this all planned and Sunday morning I start looking up places. I'm like, oh, they're all closed. So we end up doing, you know, spending the day differently and then Monday, she's getting ready to leave. She goes, so what happened to my car? I didn't get a car? And I'm like, yeah, sorry. Um, and then this morning, I woke up. Unreal. Uh, to, let's see. What do you think? And it's a link to, let's see, a Cadillac, a Lexus, a Mercedes, a Range Rover. She's like, I'm tired, but here are seven for you to look at. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. Unbelievable that one. Yeah. Way. Do we even mention what she stole from our house? Oh, she always steal things. She too. pilfers. Yeah. She Last time she was over, she stole a coffee maker. She stole a She pillow put a coffee maker in her suitcase. In her suitcase to fly home. Uh, a pillow from our bed. Yeah. This is nice and soft. So can yeah. I have it, please? Yeah, okay. Sweater. She took my sweaters. Oh my God, this is what made me insane when we went shopping. Because this is this is the stuff where I go, I get, I can't hold my, myself together anymore. We're walking around on Sunday and we walk into some place and I bought something and then she they have, uh, they actually had like some, you know, creams and moisturizers and stuff like that. And she's like talking to the guy, I want this. And they're like, oh, it's 15 bucks. And she goes, do you want to buy me this? And I go, no. <sighs> she goes, okay, then I'm not getting it. I go, do you want it? If you buy it? I go, no, do you want it? She's like, if you buy it? I go, it's $15. Like, you've had yeah. everything bought for you this week. Yeah. Just pull out 20 bucks. Yeah, if you want it, get it. And, and buy it. And she was like, no. I'm like, okay, I'm not buying it for you. Like, you make it not fun to buy you something because you're asking for like something that you clearly have, you know? It's so annoying. Anyway, I'm still fucking over uh, it. Jesus. So we've been trying to recover. It's been like, they've only been gone for what, 24 hours? Yeah. Was it yesterday they it left? It was like fucking six weeks they were here, didn't it? <laughs> seven days, it was horribly long. Less than seven. Oh, really? Yeah. How long was that? They were six days. Ah. Uh, so we finally said goodbye. And then both of us were just like, oh my God, what do we do to recover? You slept. I mean, I haven't seen you. You took a nap at 5 p.m., which yeah. you never do. It did. It, it really was. Like, you were like <laughs> snoring. I know. I know. And then last night, I was so tired. You heard, you said that I was ripping. Hard. Yeah. What do really I sound like? Really ripping. Like, like, a, like a large man. <laughs> <laughs> But then the other night you snored so badly that I had to go sleep downstairs. Yeah. And I, I don't want this for us. Like, are we going to have to wear a CPAP? Is that what's going to happen? Our, our dual machines? Ah, oh, man. Could you a, imagine? Those are hot. <laughs> Is there anything less attractive than a CPAP machine? I don't know. Um, <laughs> we can go get sleep studies. You want to do sleep studies? Sure, we could try. There you go. What did they? <laughs> there, there we are. There I there am. There we are. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, my love. Uh, I would rather die alone than wear one of these. <laughs> <laughs> you will. You will. I will. I don't want this. Yeah. I don't want this. This is embarrassing. Keep you alive. I thought this is only for uh, like 300 pounders. Fatties need them for sure. <laughs> like if you're, 
<laughs> Look at that old lady in her yeah. tits. Look at her tits. <laughs> <laughs> I'm old. Can't breathe. I'm old and so are my tits. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, no, like Bert should have, have one of oh, those. Oh, he doesn't already? I thought he did. I don't think so. No, he snores like a fucking freight train. <laughs> Dreamwear nasal mask. I yeah. mean, is he that definitely so needs that, by the way. He does. We sure. do too. He passes out drunk most of the time. He's fucking 290. He's like, Argh! like he definitely needs that. Yeah. Do <laughs> it's true. Should they just, it's true. But should they just issue one to fats? Yeah. Fresh cool. or. Like um, if you're 300 pounds, should they just give you one at your doctor's office? Like when you stop it, they're like, oh, you're fat. We didn't. <laughs> We didn't realize that. Here you go. <laughs> like one of those. But how do you fall asleep with the sound of the CPAP machine going? Isn't that the most, the it's, loudest thing ever? I don't know. I think um, to some people it's probably soothing. I know. You know? It's, it's like, it sounds, I, I don't like that at all. I'd rather just die in yeah. my sleep from choking, asphyxiation. Yeah. Yeah, it's loud. 30 decibels, whatever that is. It's about oh, as loud a, as a whisper. Oh, as loud as a whisper. They should not keep you awake. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> does it stop you from snoring though? I don't think it does. I don't know. Does it just It's just open forcing air in. That's all it oh, is. Oh, it forces. <laughs> yeah, it's continuous, <laughs> continuous airflow, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So do we st we're, so we're stopping breathing. Is that But we don't stop breathing. We're clearly breathing. We're just snoring super yeah. loud. Yeah, yeah. Well, any way to cut down the noise. Get the a way. sleep study. We should get a sleep study and they'll tell you what really is going on. That would be amazing. If, so scary. If you do a sleep study and they're like, Christina, you absolutely need a CPAP machine. <laughs> no, I don't want one. <laughs> yeah. Don't you dare make me get one. Yeah. I'm like, I don't want one. I'll Continuous die alone. Continuous positive airway pressure. No, I don't want a CPAP. I'm so embarrassed. Because if you, if you have real sleep apnea, it means you stop breathing. You know? I don't stop breathing. Mm. You heard me snoring. It means I'm breathing. Well, that's not necessarily what it means. Listen, topic change, but I need your help. Okay. Today's the day. Right. I'm going to the store that I see the Zimzer in. Okay. Today's the day. After this, will you ask them what their pronoun is? Um, yeah. I'll ask. How are you going to do it? Um, hey, uh, who's uh, <laughs> Hey. Hey Jordan. I'm just making up a name. I don't know the name. See, the thing is, their name is is ambiguous as well it is. because it's foreign. So it can be oh. any. It, it's like Chris, like Chris and Pat, like you know. Oh right. Hey, uh, I'll be. Uh, you see. Uh, you, um, you see the uh, Super Bowl. What's your pronouns? What if you're like, what's your favorite football team? And then they're like, oh, I don't like football. Like, what's it called? Oh, you know, you could also say, "Hey, where's the um? What's what's your favorite restaurant here? <laughs> your restaurant? I thought you say restaurant. restaurant. What, no, what restaurant I'm saying, do you use? You, uh, you go. Where's your restaurant? <laughs> do they have boys and men's and women's rooms there? Do they? I'm serious, though. I'm gonna make you ask. Hey, do you know? Um, hey, what, what's your, what's your what's your brand? We're, we're gonna pick up here. a prescription for Christina. She her are you? She <laughs> yeah. and you are, and yours are. Yours are. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. And I've tried. I I make chit chat with this person. I really enjoy them. I love their energy. Problem is, they wear a mask, so I can't see half their face. So I can't tell if they have like a mustache. This is the best way to do it. Yeah, I got it. Go ahead. Do you mind making a pit stop at the house? Yeah, of course. Go to the house. I have an Ask Me My Pronouns t-shirt. <laughs> Wear that. Have it be the conversation starter. That's a really good idea. We have those pins that are like my pronouns are. Yeah. So you them. just bring one of those with you. It becomes a natural. And then you go, you keep looking at it. Like, oh, <laughs> I didn't know I was wearing that. <laughs> and then he's like, oh, what are yours? And, you, and then you're like, oh. Well, oh, what are yours? Yeah. Funny you mention. And then they go, guess. And you're like, hey. <laughs> they're not saying guess. <laughs> I think that community definitely doesn't want you to guess. That's why they're like, yeah. ask me my pronouns. Okay. Well, yeah, then just fucking tell them. I'm so excited to have a Zimzer to ask. Yeah. This is the first time. It'd this be great happened. if they were Zimzer. I, they might be. If yeah. they're there today, I want them to, I, if they're working. That's the other thing. Um, also, before we uh, transition, 
Um, <laughs> having a lot of fun Get it? Uh, with spam texts. Oh, yeah. I've been doing this for uh, like about a month now. Anytime I get a spam text or a wrong number text, <laughs> I just reply, this is Ambassador Cartwright. <laughs> and it has been really great. Um, a lot of no responses. Wow. Um, yep. See? And um, I just say that like, I don't know who the hell that was meant for, but if you page to the right there, uh, yeah, see, <laughs> Facebook, yep, this is Ambassador Cartwright, no response. See right here, good evening, Jerry. Mm. This is Ambassador Cartwright. Oh, I think, I'm sorry to bother you, please forgive me. It just, it, yes. immediately they gave respect to the ambassador, you know? Is that why you've chosen ambassador? It's like, I'm a person of authority exactly. and respect. How dare you? How dare you? Right here, Diane, me. too severe, I can't attend your wedding. I said, you know. I should tell you this isn't, um, you know, and then she, Diane, oh, you're on, I entered the wrong number, sorry. I go, I'm not, it's okay. And then they wrote, it's good to know each other in this situation. How should I address you as? It's really crazy. So I said, Ambassador Cartwright. <laughs> and she said, you are the ambassador of another country in the United States? Formerly, yes. I had an incident that forced me to resign. I hope you found <laughs> Diane's number. Um, this is amazing, Tom. Yep, and then I got one. Yeah, I haven't posted this one yet, but I got. Um, We're getting a lot of spam texts. I know. It's I've time had to this change number that for number. a while. Um, time to change it, bro. Yesterday, what did I get? Oh, it said Guillermina, California is facing big choices. <laughs> Will you share thoughts in this five-minute survey? And I wrote, "This is Ambassador Cartwright." <laughs> And they wrote, thank you for your response. We're getting a huge volume of messages. <laughs> so our team will review them and get back to you as soon as possible. Wow. And then I said, this is not typically a response that an ambassador receives. Oh. And then yesterday, uh, <laughs> Brian Simpson um, texted me. This is so great. It made me laugh. He wrote, uh, this, this, should really fuck, this shit really fucking works. Um, somebody texted him, long time to see you, know, my friend. He goes, who gave you my number? It says, hi, Helen, it's Joanna. This is my <laughs> new number, how are you? And he wrote, this is Ambassador Cartwright. <laughs> <laughs> perfect. So This yeah. is perfect. Yeah. Wonderful. It's really blowing up, You can man. really use this. And, you know, it's fun to tell people some new things to tell Garth. So, um, <laughs> Uh-oh. Eh, Uh-oh. I think he's going to be hearing from Ambassador Cartwright. Uh-oh. Listen. All right. Um, our guest is here. Our guest is here. Let's take a quick break and we'll be right back in two and two. <laughs> if saving more and spending less is one of your top goals for 2022, why are you still paying insane amounts of money every month for wireless? Switching to Mint Mobile is the easiest way to save this year. As the first company to sell premium wireless service online only, Mint Mobile lets you maximize your savings with plans starting at just $15 a month. We have guys on staff here who rave about Mint Mobile and the little amount they pay for this great, great service. All plans come with unlimited talk and offer high-speed data delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. Use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan and keep your same phone number along with all your existing contacts to get your new wireless plan for just $15 a month and get the plan shipped to your door for free. Go to mintmobile.com slash mom. That's mintmobile.com slash M-O-M. Cut your wireless bill to $15 a month at mintmobile.com slash mom. Uh, welcome back. We're here with our guest, one of the best comedians working today. It's the great Jeff Tate. Yay. Oh, I like hello. women. I like women. Uh, <laughs> Jeff, <Like women. laughs> I know you do. I wasn't saying you didn't. So, uh, thanks for coming by. Appreciate it. Oh, it's my pleasure. Um, good to see you as always. We've done a bunch of uh, bunch of tour dates over the last six months, eight months, something like that. Yeah, lots. And we got a bunch more coming up. Very excited. It's gonna be great. You can uh, you can catch Jeff with me on a number of weeks. Uh, I don't even remember, but uh, throughout the the spring, March, April, May, he's going to be on a bunch of dates. Um, Chris Jeanza, you're going just real oh, quick. You're gonna I got be... so many tour dates. ChristinaPOnline.com. I'm going to do Tampa this weekend, March 4th and 5th. And then I roll to Charlotte, North Carolina at the Comedy Zone, April 1st and 2nd. I'm doing Austin, stateside at the Paramount as part of the Moon Tower Comedy Festival. One night only in Los Angeles, May 3rd at the Regent Theater. Mini Apple Tits, 
uh, May 6th and 7th, and then Irvine, Sperm Vine, May 20th and 21st. The Borgata, uh, June 4th, Boston Massive, Huge Tits, the Wilbur, June 5th, and then Cleveland in August at Great Hilarious. Club. I'm adding some more stuff. Um, I'll let you guys know as soon as that's posted. Get tickets, Christina P. Online. Get tit kits, I think. Right. Now, right now, right now, right now, right now, right, right now, now, right now, right now. Right Go now. get those tickets. How juvenile. You know what I love yeah. about you, um, Jeff Tate, is that you always roll with the, the giggles, the fun. You're, was... you're a yes and kind of guy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's a lot to giggle at. Yeah. A lot to giggle at. <laughs> yeah. Massive huge tits. Yeah. <laughs> Boston Massive Huge Tits? That's not what it's called. No, it's not. It's not? <laughs> I thought... <laughs> I thought the best yes, one ever was Fart Louderdale. <laughs> <laughs> that really works because Dale yeah. is a name. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. it's like you're telling Dale. To fart something. Louder, yeah. <laughs> fart Louderdale. <laughs> and then um, for it's uh, Jew Dork Titties. Yeah, that's a good one. Oh, all right. That's for... Um, that's New York City? That's yeah. right. Oh, this is a, fun ga- a fun game. This is like Wordle. Yeah. We just try to guess what city you're actually <laughs> yeah. talking about. Yeah. Boobsman, Montana. Are you going to Boobsman, Montana? <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> That's a good one. Are you going to start booking your dates backwards, coming up with the fun name first, and then be like, <laughs> find something in Boobsman? <laughs> <laughs> but, Mon- but Montana's right there. It's already right there. Uh, um, but Montana. Let's say if you can guess this one. Slut Lake City. <laughs> Oh, I'm I'm coming. Up. Is that overseas? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm I'm not coming up with anything. No, no. Oh, <laughs> Slut Lake Titty. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds European. Yeah. Yeah. Slut Lake Titty. I have a bunch of dates Cunt in the film. Ukraine, but that's up in the air right now. <laughs> <laughs> Wait to get those finalized. <laughs> I was calling it the invasion, but it, we have to redo all the marketing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You might want to call your agent on that one. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You may want to cancel. De- definitely. <laughs> oh, man. What I'll just move names? them to late summer. I don't, I, I mean, I, I feel like everything's going to wrap itself up pretty quick. Yeah. yeah it's in good. and out. No big what is, uh, I mean, You really think it's going to take Russia more than a week? No. <laughs> They're no. Russia. Yeah. No, that's true. They, they did a lot of good work before <laughs> in the <laughs> 60s. And, yeah. We no, they seen, do like it. When was the last time we saw like some like a good war, you know? Like, the, like didn't, that didn't involve one? us? <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. That didn't involve us. Well, it, yeah, that's a <laughs> the really late good late 30s. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Those oh. were great. Those European <laughs> ones, they know how to do it, man. They know what, there's a bunch of hotheads over there, though. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. <laughs> Everyone in America was just like, I don't. I don't read the paper. What's What's happening? Like, oh, I know. just yeah. pushed it off. And well, absolutely. the the There's... Olympics are going on right now, and like, I are don't they? even know. Still, yeah. They they um. I found out after the Super Bowl. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Like no one knows. But did, wait, no did you? Because we were talking about this. Didn't you at one point? Did you ever think that they, like they were they were a big deal to like, catch them like? The Olympics? Yeah. Oh, like, yeah, yeah. And the Winter Olympics even, where Winter Olympics aren't obviously massive everywhere in the U.S., but I feel like there were a number of years where Winter Olympics came on and we were all like pretty invested in it. You would right? watch that every night. Not, I mean, 94 was a big deal. Yeah. The Car- Na- oh, Nancy Kerrigan. Kerrigan and yeah. That's Hardy. why. That was a big deal, yeah. There's no good uh, scandals or storylines anymore. But nobody cares about- I mean, that's about- the thing. Every, um, the 90s had like proper villains. Yeah. yeah. And we don't have, like ever since 9-11, it's just been terrorism. And we need yeah. a we need a fucking that's solid true. Joey Buttafuoco coming yeah. out of some, <laughs> somewhere. Yeah. yeah, you're right. So yeah. true. And then we need a better, I don't know, but <sighs> also, I mean, I, I saw that this was Sean White's last Olympics. Oh my but God. But I don't feel, and- People used to like get really. Ex- I feel like it didn't really get that much traction. Like that, people. Nobody wants to see a thirty-eight year old snowboarder. Yeah. God, he's that old already. Wow. I mean, he might be twenty-six. I, I mean, <laughs> these like winter Olympic athletes. Geriatric. Their, their age is really the real slightest guy. Yeah. yeah, he's thirty-five, bro. But his first one, he wild. wasn't he like sixteen or yeah. something? Yeah. That's wild. Dude. Yeah. Well, maybe too. Like our everyday stuff's fairly exciting. Like. You can watch an MMA fight where guys kick each other in the head and bleed to death and shit, and that's way more fun than like, oh, a luge. Who gives a shit? Right, right. You know? yeah. Watching watching a watching a skier hit a pole and they'd be like, I guess I'm out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My whole life, and then I hit this pole and I'm. Well, oh, we done. saw that. No oh, cares. that was uh, that was here. The guy, 
skiing and he did the flip and he like broke both legs. That was great. Um, yeah, but that wasn't nice. in the Olympics. <laughs> Do you remember that X be, Games yeah. where that guy hit that big ramp and then lost his balance and fell like 70 feet to no, the ground and his didn't... shoes flew off? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Was that a skateboard? Yeah, you... skateboard. Yeah. And then he walked off and then uh, like he got up and waved and they helped him off and it then it turned out he broke like 60 bones. <laughs> How did he stand up? It's wild. Uh, skateboarders, they're, they're a different they're breed. So yeah. good. Had some adrenaline probably too. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if a lot of people are looking at you, you're going to want to try to stand up. I think, yeah. I think oh my God. His brain was probably like, you just got shot. <laughs> you got to get out of here. <laughs> Holy shit, man. Oh, dude. Um, by the way, did you ever, because you haven't been with us in a while, oh, right? Shit. When was the last time you sat in? It was um, a few years ago, eight, 17, 18, something. Okay. Have you ever seen this? Right before you come, yeah, I'll swallow if I want to. I have no problem swallowing. I stop for a minute and I put a big hickey on your inner thigh there and uh, just suck on that and make it nice and red and let you remember me after I'm gone. <laughs> does he this mean, is one of my friend's dads. I really? <laughs> does he mean does he mean gone like that night or just in general? <laughs> that hickey might last a little longer than this one. <laughs> You don't Turn recognize over and, him? And I would play with your cheeks, maybe even <laughs> massage your little hole and make you feel just the only man in my life. You, you just did. <laughs> oh, my God. Awesome. Wait till he comes. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Wait till he comes. There's, he's going to act. <laughs> he's actually going to come on this? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, let's go. <laughs> well, it's normal size. It's, it's not it's not that that big. Well, the one the one thing the one thing that I'm going to tell you is that uh, the first time it's it's going to be quick with me cuz it's been a long time. Okay, you come. You come. Let me see. Let me see how much you come. Let me let me see all that come. How how much uh, how, how big a load I'm going to swallow. I, I need it. I, I need it right now. Oh, I need shit. it right now. Okay. Oh, oh no. Oh my Can God! You this see guy. This? Why is he still wearing his watch? Can he not take it off? It looks like he might not be able to take it off. Okay. okay give it to me now. Give it to me now. Give it to me. Come on, Mark. Don't be stingy. I'm gonna put this in your mouth, and you're gonna have to. Suck it dry. You're going to just suck it dry, Mark. You got that beautiful mouth. <laughs> Give it to me, Mark. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I can feel it. Mm. Oh, that's going to be good. Oh, that's going to be good. Oh, oh. oh sick. Oh. Damn. You bet I'm coming up in May. You better believe I'm coming up in May. Oh. Is that this man? You are terrific. Yeah, yeah. It's a recent yeah. video? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's so, it's like, it's more uncomfortable because the rest of his house looks very, like, regular house. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> like, you could just go to this guy's house after church and they'd be like, yeah. hang on. Are you the guy? <laughs> The, yeah, you're the come your, guy. <laughs> let me see your watch. <laughs> it is you. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Do you know what I noticed upon this 10th viewing? Is that <laughs> every, cause every time it reveals more and more, like we've been watching this and just pulling back layers, is that when he masturbates, he's actually jerking his dick. He's pushing back the fat pad. Yeah, yeah. It's buried is, in there. Yeah. yeah. And he also has to grip it. Like, 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 you know what I mean? Like a utensil. Like, he's not holding his dick. No. He's like placing fingers in a very delicate position. But on that him. might be why he can't get hard until he comes. I think he has other health issues <laughs> that are contributing. I hear, I hear this is also his last Olympics. <laughs> Oh my God, Nadal wrote, he has to lean to one side. That is yeah, so true. true. He leaned to he jerk has off. To lean. <laughs> He's got to be like, ugh. You ready to jerk off? <laughs> Hold on. Wait a second. <laughs> Let me get to the kitchen. Uh. Yeah, because when I was like nine months pregnant, that's what this feels like. 
Because I, I watch how he's moving, and that's how you move when you're nine months. But I also it's always like, have to uh, remind myself that so the heavy. guy who's on the other side of this camera is not laughing like we are. He's like, this is <laughs> this is hot. Yeah, that's crazy I want to see how much you come. Let me yeah, see how much you yeah, come. Yeah. We got to compare it. Uh, <laughs> the other guy's like, this is great. <laughs> Mark. Mark. Yeah. yeah. Mark is. Yeah. yeah. I wonder what Mark's room looks like. <laughs> that doesn't look like that. He's uh, he's also put out. There's multiple videos of this guy. Oh, oh, oh! He just got he just got home from work. What what are what are his his knickknacks? He's got tchotchkes and shit. Uh Oh Oh, no! Don't 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 take. Oh man, you gotta take your headphones off. That's a rookie move. (laughs) Yeah. Leave the shirt on. I would say. You think you you think he's from Boston? Because those are some (laughs) massive huge (laughs) dicks. Oh shit, <laughs> dude! Oh, that shit, is. Dude. <laughs> oh, fuck. You know what the? You know what I'm actually like now that I'm now that stare, I'm looking I'm at this, staring at this, and stuff. it's paused. It's a nine month pregnant. It's huge. You That's know what's really? You know what's really shocking about this freeze frame right here? There's no zipper for like this guy has not had heart surgery. <laughs> right. <laughs> How has this guy not had heart surgery? <laughs> I, I know. <laughs> <laughs> there should be there should be a nine inch scar right here. I know. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Babe, he's got that pregnancy ring, the pregnancy line though of hair. It looks like it. Yeah. You know? It's huge. It's really it's Fuck, massive. Dude. Right, like when you get to the top of a mountain and you're on the ridge line, <laughs> and the, the, yeah. both sides of the mountain meet. God. Yes, I am. Is oh. that okay? Oh. Well, I'm <sighs> half cut. Let's put it that way. I'm half cut. Well, because I got cut when I was adult. I oh. uh, was in the military. Oh and, no! Uh, oh. <laughs> messed it up. I had a virus, and uh, a virus. I had what they called Oriental warts. That oh, is not so what they call it. <laughs> circumcised me completely, so that hurts. So he was supposed to circumcise me completely, so that I wouldn't have the problems, and uh, that's as far as he got. Oh. Call him back. Yeah, you should go. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Just go, just go back to the office. Yeah. Go to the VA. Yeah. yeah. Excuse me. I had Orient Awards <laughs> in the war. Oh, listen to that. Look at that dick. Look. So he still has a foreskin, though. See, I, I just pulled the skin forward the way it's normally when it's asleep. Asleep. <laughs> and when it gets big, well, comes right out. Okay. Oh, I think he still has an Orient Award. <laughs> <laughs> Still don't take anything for enhancement oh. or oh, you don't? testosterone or anything. You I'm sure. still able to function normally by myself. Yeah, you look great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think you're def- nor- normal is a real sliding scale, huh? <laughs> yeah, don't fix it. You're good. Oh. You're fine. Oh, Jesus. Don't go to the doc. I think it's also like, Whew. I don't know how most like sex talk, you know, like dirty talk works. Like you always see it in movies. And you're like, I wonder how... And to see a regular old guy just be like, okay, you come. It's like, you're like oh, I want to see. I want to see it. You go, oh, it's not that dressed I'm a, up. I'll massage your little hole. <laughs> oh, my God. Massage. Yeah. He says, I'm going to massage. Massage your little hole. Uh. <laughs> Let me see all that gum. Uh. Let me see all that gum. But Jeff. Hey, he's got a real grandpa voice. Yeah. Hey, get over here. Let me see all that gum. <laughs> to his grandson. <laughs> Mark. Hey, Mark, get over here. Let grandpa see how much you can come. <laughs> I have but, missed him so much. I know, babe. He's dead. He's, He's dead. <laughs> that guy? Yeah, he died. Oh, from from what? He fucking too much. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> he finally he went up he went up in May and <laughs> that, yeah. was <laughs> that was it. Yeah. So, but oh, <laughs> <laughs> that's him too. <laughs> Which one is him <laughs> on the bottom? <laughs> oh, and there's Mark, right? Is yeah, that that's Mark? Mark? Yeah, that's Mark. Mark's in much better shape. Yeah. But Mark, Mark likes what he likes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. You don't have to be 
just wanting. Yeah. I want real bad too. Sure. Uh oh. Oh Jesus! Oh no! <laughs> There's that watch. Why is this? Why is this online? <laughs> <laughs> we paid for it. <laughs> you commissioned it. <laughs> yeah. uh. You know what's funny, Jeff, about the watch is that it is so tiny in relation, like relative to his arm. And you, you know, you'd think you'd buy a bigger watch. You know, well, you want to see him do this, and it tiny. doesn't move at all. You know who had that too? That it was always so annoying. Tiny is Trump. Tiny Trump watch. Wore, yeah. He wears a tiny little tight watch. And, and it's, it's small. Feminine. And it's super it's it's the big it's the biggest watch in the world. A lot of people say <laughs> a lot of people say no one's ever seen a bigger watch. Tremendous watch. See how, look at him right oh, there. Yeah. See how tight it is on his so wrist? Tight. Yeah. Look how tight that is. <laughs> <laughs> you know what that's from? That's a sign of being too healthy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. A lot of people say he's he's the most healthy. Yeah. God, I wish. Yeah, I wish Trump so... was on the other side of this call with this guy. Uh, he was like, "Show me your dick." <laughs> <laughs> Tight watch club, bro. Tight watch club. <laughs> That's where they met on a tight, tight watch message board. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! I can't see the bottom part yet. Oh fuck! Nope. You'll have to walk back. There you go. Now I can see it, but now I have to move mine. Yeah. Oh, no, don't. Uh-oh. So that you can see oh, that. Shit. Oh, God, that. Oh, God. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, I want to get you, too. I, I think we each have a good mouthful, and, and uh, we can have some good fun. That is very cool. So, I mean, this, this just bums me out how, that I'm single. <laughs> how come I can't find somebody? Get online. These two on xhamster.com. <laughs> <laughs> Here, let me tighten my watch and <laughs> open up a browser. What if we start today by getting you a real tight watch? <laughs> we'll leave right after this. Okay. We'll get watches. Just go, go to the so, tightest watch club. <laughs> Jeff, the tightest watch. Can I ask you, if, you, if a woman talked to you this way, would it arouse you? Because he's very... Like he's almost childlike in the way he expresses himself. No, right. I don't think it, it would. It would no. be tough, even if it was really like a hot chick. It, I mean, he's well, very. If a really hot chick was like Jeff, show me all that cum, you'd be like, okay, yeah, <laughs> I was gonna. <laughs> Glad you asked. I got it here. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. But but yeah, I mean, at least at least like put something on your voice. So that it's not your regular, like that's like that guy's regular at work voice. Yeah. Right. Hey, do you have the Penske file? <laughs> Let me uh, see all that come. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't. That's interesting. He doesn't change his he doesn't demeanor up a little or yeah. voice at all. You're right. You're like, yeah, pass me that file. Give me a cup of coffee. I want to see all that come. You can't <laughs> say it all no, in the same cadence. No. Yeah. Switch it up. He def- I yeah. mean, that that is, now that we've really pinpointed it, the problem with this guy is he sounds too professional. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he, we, he needs to scuzz it up a bit. Yeah. It's what they, they tell you your actual phone sex operator looks like and is doing. Yeah. You know? <laughs> the, the phone sex operator actually changes the cadence and they go, oh, hey. And then you find out it looks like this guy. Yeah. He's yeah. like, he forgot to do the voice. So he's like, show me all that cum. Yeah. <laughs> tell me how you're going to come into my mouth. Let me see it. I'm going to yeah, put a hickey on your thigh. Oh. For me, I thought mine was going to be easier uh, huh? this time. But What are we looking at? No, I, I remember my grandmother, whenever something like this happens, is when I was growing up, when I was growing up and, and I had plans, and then they changed with no, for no cause that I caused. You know? And I'd complain about it, and, she, and my grandma used to tell me, off. well, son, she'd say, man proposes and God disposes, so don't worry about it. He knows what he's doing. I said, okay, okay, While grandma, you're coming, I won't, I won't worry about it. I know. How's Mark going to come? Yeah. You know what my grandma used to say when I was jerking off at home? <laughs> there, I, there was two sets of footprints. Here, grab that dick. There was two sets of footprints. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. Uh, uh, gosh, you, you know, know what in I... the gospel, in the bo- <laughs> book of Luke. Hold on. Let me grab my balls real quick. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> it's all he says. I'm going to quote the Bible here for a second. Oh. <laughs> Jesus. 
<laughs> yeah, they're there, but like I say, I'm built in such a way that uh, they, they they hang very far back. Yeah, they don't. They don't. Uh, they don't he's, hang he's down. He's not. He's not just, built in such a way. Very, he's very super fat in such the, a way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That the fat's bag. pushing the balls back. <laughs> no matter how warm you, it, he yes, ended up like this. Yeah, sweating like a like a black man. <laughs> <It's just> like, <laughs> it doesn't matter how warm it gets. I can be sweating like a like a black man, and and Ooh. they don't uh, Whoa. go down. <laughs> okay, hang on, guys. I didn't know this video was gonna get offensive. <laughs> <laughs> Also, he did a half <laughs> reference. You, it's not like yeah. black men just sweat. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. You got to put them in a situation. He forgot yeah, the, yeah. the in a blank yeah. part. Yeah. <laughs> just sweat. You know, those blacks are sweating all the time. Sweating like a whore. Full stop. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. <sighs> oh, and I, what I've noticed again on this viewing is that his thumbnails are disgusting. Have you seen how yellow yes, and long Yes, his thumbnails hair? are yeah. disgusting. Yes. <laughs> that I have noticed how yeah. gross his thumbnails were. They're so long and unkempt and like it's his his manicure search is not good. Yeah. <laughs> He's got to call his manicurist. Yeah. If I were his manicurist and I was looking at those nails, I'd be <laughs> sweating like a like a black man. <laughs> <laughs> she's what if she watches uh, this? What if she watches this episode? Yeah. Now she's embarrassed. Oh, oh. yeah, way to go. <laughs> She's, she's somewhere so mad at you right now. I do my best. You know how hard it is <laughs> to clean that guy's fingernails? He's so gross. He won't take his watch off. <laughs> it's a fucking nightmare, Christina. It's tiny watch. Oh, shit. Why is this watch so tiny? It's so tiny. It's probably like it's so you can wear small. it as a necklace. I know. <laughs> it's just got it's fucking... like a squirrel watch. He's got to wear those like diabetes socks on his arms. <laughs> he seems like a nice man. Diabetes I'm, I'm just socks. glad everybody, everybody, there's somebody his for everybody. Pants <laughs> on his, arm. his compression <laughs> arm socks. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, let me just bring the camera to me. Oh yeah. shit! Think, think that it satisfy satisfy that nice mouth of yours? Oh god! Well, I know yours will be tasty and good. <laughs> tasty and filling. And good and filling. <laughs> Just thinking of all the words I can use. <laughs> <laughs> How's oh that God. pizza? It's tasty and good and filling. <laughs> gonna... Reminds me of all that cum from the other day. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good it's a good food show. <laughs> Oh, I know yours will be tasty and good and filling. Uh, <laughs> oh my god! Uh, but, <laughs> and his dick is so unappealing, like visually, like uh, on this viewing as well. I've really seen how unattractive it really is. Look at the like... name of this next file. <laughs> 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 Not a possible one, no an actual one. Let's I see. saw it. I saw it when he no. pulled back the skin Not last right time. Here. Is it? Oh. Is there? That's that's my hole. That, that's where it spits. <laughs> well, I'll have to check that later, but I I can't see. I've never never noticed it, and I clean myself. Do you? Good. And tasty. No, I'm, I'll check it. <laughs> that's this this file is called possible ward on dick. <laughs> oh, possible. It's definitely something. Yeah. Well, and imagine you're masturbating with your partner, and they're like, "Hold on a minute, is that a wart on your dick?" <laughs> like, no, and that's like, ew. And then you go, "That's my hole. That's where it spits." <laughs> <laughs> that's where it spits. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> my mom's gonna hate this episode. So <laughs> much. Oh, is she watching? Hello, she, uh, anymore? Hi, mom. <laughs> Uh, well, I can't. I can't do the camera, and yeah, I'm holding the camera. Let me yeah, see. you're doing a good job. Let me let me see. Let me see if oh. I can set it here <laughs> so it'll look down enough. Oh there shit! Oh, we're looking down it's enough. It's not gonna get hard to ourselves. Come, I'll tell you that. Uh, that's another weird one, Jeff. Yeah. <laughs> listen, listen to this line. It's not gonna get hard till I'm ready to come. I'll tell you that. It's not gonna get hard till I'm ready to come. So that means it's just like. When are you going to get hard? He's this whole time. In the last second, I'm going to get hard? <laughs> that's, that's how he knows. Yeah. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, 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 here it comes. 
I don't <laughs> he must not have good circulation. Like maybe he just has no blood flow down there, you know? Yeah. Yeah, he definitely has circulatory problems. <laughs> <laughs> he can't take his watch off. Things That's aren't. why the watch is too tight. <laughs> what if the watch was the whole fucking it's on the hand. It's on the hand he's using, and maybe that maybe that's part of it. Yeah. This hand's been asleep for years. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> years. He, he doesn't know what's he doesn't know what's touching. My right hand's always numb. <laughs> why, 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 why come? And he takes it off, and his body like levels out. All the fat displaces perfectly. That would be that's so. That's my funny. hole. Um, <laughs> that's um. my hole. <laughs> My hole. But uh, what was that? In, my what hole. was that regarding? Was the was that, was the guy like, "What is that?" And he was like, "That's yeah. my hole." Yeah. And I see something. Like I think you got something right there. And he's like, "That's my hole. That's where it spits." And he was <laughs> so like, he's that guy like, was like, "Not the hole." <laughs> There's another thing. Right there. <laughs> no, I know that part. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm here for that part. Yeah, I'm yeah. trying. I've seen you come. What's that other thing? What's that? <laughs> <laughs> okay, you come. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> I can already feel that warm mouth. God, it's been a long time. Oh, I'm trying. I'm trying to imagine you sucking on it. Oh, I can, I How are you not you turned on? <laughs> it's time to get back out there, but if you're not quite ready, for a full-blown adventure, there's still ways to explore the world from the comfort of your home. With DoorDash, you don't need to travel far to experience something new. What, are you, what do you want right now? You want sushi? You want pizza? You want a, a pretzel? You can get all of it. Along with the restaurants you love, you can now get groceries and other essential items delivered with DoorDash. Get drinks, snacks, deodorant, paper towels, whatever you want. In under an hour, you're craving late-night ice cream. You forget that one key ingredient for dinner, or maybe you just need to stock up for the week. With over 300,000 partners, you can support your neighborhood go-tos or choose from your favorite national restaurants. Ordering is easy, and your items will be left safely outside your door when you choose contactless delivery drop-off. For a limited time, our listeners can get 25% off with zero delivery fees on their first order of $15 or more when you download the DoorDash app and enter the code YMH. That's 25% off up to a $10 value and zero delivery fees when you first order when you download the DoorDash app in the App Store and enter the code YMH. Don't forget, that's code YMH for 25% off your first order with DoorDash. Subject to change, terms apply. This episode is brought to you by Stamps.com. Time is money. Don't waste either with repeated trips to the post office. With Stamps.com, you can skip the trip and focus on how to take your small business to the next level. Stamps.com lets you print official postage right from your computer and saves you money in the process so you can spend less time at the post office and more time making your customers happy. I'm telling you, I've used Stamps.com for Years, 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 years. It is the best service. I don't know why anybody wastes their life at the post office anymore. You simply don't have to. Stamps.com gives you access to all the post office and UPS shipping services you need right from your computer. Get discounts you can't find anywhere else, like up to 40% off USPS rates and off a 76% off UPS. Stop overpaying for shipping with Stamps.com. Sign up. At stamps.com slash mom for a special offer that includes a four-week trial, free postage, and a digital scale. No long-term commitments or contracts. That's stamps.com slash mom. Like, I have to actively forget that I've heard <laughs> this stuff. <laughs> this guy. It's so upsetting. These have been playing in my dreams at night, so that's why I brought it back. I can't. <laughs> Stop thinking about this guy. <laughs> you know? Ooh, I can't wait for my dreams tonight. <laughs> I bet they'll be fun and tasty and good. <laughs> and filling <laughs> and warm. Well, oh, this will God. definitely be oh, in your dream. God. <laughs> Here's the finale. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. It's so long, goodness. He's gonna have a heart attack. Is this how you come talk? Goodness gracious. This is how I sound when I walk upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> 
He needs an ambulance. <laughs> <laughs> He's dying. Uh, this uh, is a normal. Uh, it's so long. Uh, it's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, you all right? <laughs> well, it's been a long time. I mean, is that like 40 years ago? <laughs> <laughs> well, ever since I was in the service, uh, I've been afraid. Oh, my God. <laughs> to come. <laughs> Last time uh, I did, they half circumcised I me. am all wet now, sweaty. Yeah. That's all yeah. right. Like a black. I have to go take a shower anyway. <laughs> okay. I'll do the same. <laughs> okay. That's all it. Right. You just sign off after that, that? That was it. All right. See you later, Mark. <laughs> That's the great thing about jerking off with guys. <laughs> you can just go like, later, bro. There's no chit chat. Yeah. Because no, what do you say after? You don't have to like I talk imagine. her down. Hey, uh, that was so special. You can just be like, ah, buddy, I'm sweaty. <laughs> I gotta uh, go. All right. Don't tell anybody about this. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> don't tell anybody certainly don't put it on xhamster.com uh, <laughs> I mean, no, that's always the thing we ask is like how did it get to the internet who uploaded Mark did- yeah Mark oh you think it was Mark yeah oh man so this is revenge porn no no uh, he waited until Leo died oh okay and he asked him can I upload these after you're dead is that was, right yeah yeah we, we found it in a in a chat thread once and, oh, and right. Mark was like, Leo was one of my lovers. And I like and to record was these this, things. Was this just so that everybody could remember Leo in a very cool way? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that his children they, and they his grandkids. They played this in his memorial. Yeah, like, yeah. still, and I'm now, not sure I get it. <laughs> <laughs> we have a video from one of his friends. Mark, <laughs> Mark, would you come would forward? You care, <laughs> would you care to say a few words or just let the video speak for you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can feel it. Mm. <laughs> Oh, that's gonna be good. <laughs> <laughs> they play this at his fucking funeral. You're all like, like, <laughs> everybody's crying even harder. Like, crying for different Dad. reasons. All right. Oh my grandpa. god. Grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw how much grandpa comes. <laughs> <laughs> he, he came so much. <laughs> <laughs> Mommy wants an Oriental war. <laughs> Nobody knows. That's not what they're called. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not. Uh, yeah, I like if this video came out of you, Tom, after your passing, I'd be I'd be upset. I said it would ruin your your legacy. What what part? <laughs> <laughs> you think just little, just your like, tits? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> the tits would be pretty embarrassing. Yeah, the tit legacy would be terrible. <laughs> also, I think people would, would view the video more than they viewed my other content. Oh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> of course. <laughs> like she's a Tom Segura gay sex tape. <laughs> X, X hamster crashed last <laughs> week. It's been down for a week. God damn it. <laughs> the, the video freezes right and resets. That's my hold. That's where it spits. Oh. <laughs> I, um, I saw this thing too and I was like, uh, I, wish, I wish that you, Jeff Tate, could be on this flight. Because I would love to see you on this flight with this person. Father God, I pray for every person on this plane that can hear the sound of my voice. I bless them all and their family with a long and a healthy life. Jesus, make yourself real to them right now. Do a quick work in their heart. Father God, I pray if they've not received the gift of eternal life, they receive it by faith right now in the name of Jesus. Hey, our friends, Everybody if you want to like... receive Jesus right now before this plane takes off, Father and Lance, by God's grace and Lance, say this prayer with me right now. God. i never going to be on the good flights. I know. <laughs> Mine just have babies. Yeah. This is would this, be incredible. Is this spirit air? <laughs> I don't know. I think it is. It's somewhere. Get yeah, what you pay for, guys. Well, the spirit is in the plane. Oh. <laughs> is it in the plane? Yeah. Right, right there. <laughs> Have you ever had any wild shit happen on a flight ever? No, 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 no. Just, I mean, no, nothing more than nothing wild. Just regular annoying Drunk. things. But yeah. nobody ever standing up. Nobody ever yelling. No, uh, none of that. I've seen like two people get kicked off flights. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Not COVID uh, related. Stuff. Oh, like pre you, like pre COVID? Yeah, pre COVID. Wow, you really had to fuck around and get kicked off back then. Yeah, it basically is if you um, disrespect 
or disobey a flight attendant before takeoff, they're just like, nope. <laughs> yeah. You're not coming. And that's what it was both times. Mm. Yeah. That's great. Well, I mean, why would, how do you, I don't even, <laughs> you just go to your, you, but you just go to your seat and sh- sit down. But you never, people get on, sometimes people get on that shit ready, like fired up, you know? Yeah. They're, angry one time about I, else. this guy didn't get kicked off, but I remember boarding a flight with a, a big dude and he was, directing people like on the jet bridge he was like stand to the right what are you doing <laughs> and he was huge and everybody was like and i was like this dude is gonna take over this flight if he feels like it you know <laughs> like, he was like move i like that though I, yeah. I want that guy i wish the flight attendants did more of that yeah it'd be nice it'd move be nice. come yeah. on or I the like person that, that uh the person that pretends to be lost at the um at when you board and they, they they board with zone one and they're like zone five. You yeah. see that? Oh, I've seen the, the I've seen the gate agent be like, "We didn't call your zone. You <laughs> yeah, go yeah. back." And you're like, "That's good. That yeah, was good. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, very nice. Yeah, very nice." <laughs> <laughs> because what they're gaming. Because sometimes they'll just be like, oh, "It's fine," and they let them on. Yeah. But this guy, yeah, this guy would have been the best gate agent. That's a good one. And if he's that big, he, it's too like the aisles are too narrow to hire properly sized. Yeah you know bouncers yeah so he can't uh he just has to stand at the gate he's a gate agent only and our air marshals they're not on every flight right but they're on no they they like to, they they keep it random so you never know you never know <laughs> yeah but i've seen them board also because they're obvious sometimes yeah yeah because um i saw a guy just wearing real you know like cargo pants flannel t-shirt and he just talks to the gate agent and then you can see the little hip bulge. Yeah. And then they're like, go ahead. You're just watching him board. You're like, oh, that's the guy. That's our <laughs> air marshal. Yeah, yeah. Like, you you got to be a little more subtle than, yeah. hey, I'm just going to, you got I'm, any empty? Can I board before everybody? And they're like, you have a gun. <laughs> yeah, you can board before everybody. Oh, my God. Yeah. yeah. There's, um, in Cincinnati, the D, if you buy your ticket too soon to when you leave, the DEA will be at the gate and search your bag. Yeah, wait, what's going on? What? Because every time I've flown in and out of uh, Cincinnati, there's always um, dress down, like, law enforcement yeah. at gates. Yeah. What are they doing there? Um, it's happened to me three times, and uh, I finally asked them, and they just said, if somebody buys a ticket within seven days of the flight, it's a, that, like, flags, our system flags it. Wow. And you're like, what is that? So you, like, we're, like, is this, these are our flights to L.A. And like, yeah. Sometimes people take drugs. And you're like, to L.A.? From Ohio, they take drugs to L.A. Last second. Like, hmm, you got to get all these drugs to Los Angeles. If somebody Angeles. buys a ticket seven within seven days? Yeah. Of the flight. Dude, it is, I'm not kidding you, this has happened to me multiple times flying. I've both disembark like getting off the plane at Seabeach in Cincinnati or boarding where you'll see people dressed like us like six dudes at the gate and you're like oh these are like US marshals coming to pick somebody up yeah. I guess and they eyeball everybody coming on and off and they uh, they've seen them pick randoms so I'm like it seems like they're there to get somebody yeah but they do it out of that airport yeah it's there it's must be a problem with drugs there <gasps> there is. You know what, um, where that funny bone was? Yeah. They call it the Cincinnati funny bone. Newport. But it was Newport. That yeah. was a heroin place. Remember the park that they put you up at? The hotel was across from Heroin Park. I don't remember. There's drugs there. It must have a huge they, drug problem. Last time you did it, they put you up in that real nice condo. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Is that with the cool guy? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean he's even cooler now. They he, his <laughs> his style switched. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's got like a more laid back conversational tone now. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I don't even want to know. You kind of don't. I mean, you do. <laughs> but... <laughs> this is for off air. Yeah. Gotcha. Oh uh, man. But all of that's gone now. It's all gone. Yeah, they moved the funny bone like thirty miles north. Right. Into yeah, the city? A bad neighborhood. No, no, way past the city. Oh, Further you mean, from the city. Uh, you mean, what's it called? <laughs> Township? The... Yeah, yeah, way out into... Uh... Oh, so that replaced yeah. Newport? Uh, I didn't realize that. Yeah. Newport was wild. That though. was a wild place. That was a wild place. place. It was... When they moved into that other room and then they had the door right next to the stage where the like the wait staff walked through and that's where the bathrooms was, it's like, that's can so you have stupid. a more distracting thing eight feet from the stage? Oh, my so God. A lit door? Yeah. 
They don't give a fuck. No. They don't give a fuck. And they built that room. It's not like, well, the stage is here. Yeah. They put the stage there. Yeah. They could have put it on any of the walls, and they yeah. put it on the one that they shouldn't. Yeah. I had a tweaker run up to me on stage and try to grab me, at, like accost me, and they, the security guy thankfully had him. You know, it, yeah, it, it was a fucking gnarly place, dude. <laughs> People threw up in the showroom. It was Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> and I, they had those fucking stupid, what are those like daiquiri machines? Like you see them spinning all those disgusting oh, yeah, flavors. Yeah. Remember that? <laughs> it was like fucking Margaritaville, dude, at the Funny Bone. And all these drunks would drink that shit on Cinco de Mayo and then someone oh, vomited man. in my fucking showroom. Ugh, so gross. I saw uh, that Northern California gay guy did I don't know, a million years ago where a person had vomited uh, on the table. They had like, they had like fold out tables and then put their head down on the table. And I was like, are we gonna? <laughs> no, it's gonna yeah. And that. people were just like, I don't know, man. They just kept walking by. Like, <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. Santa Cruz, I was in Santa Cruz. Yeah. Oh. What a wild! And they were like, "We got to turn the like, you got to we got to turn the show over because they're, no. they're about to turn it into a dance floor." And I was like, "I got it. Time to wrap up." <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> okay. Yeah. My pleasure. Yeah. And people vomiting and passing out in showrooms it happens a lot. I mean, at the comedy store, remember, <laughs> people pass out in the heat in the summertime. Yeah. They don't. Air, they, the air conditioning never terrible worked. there. But at least the comedy store, the show is go is like a while. Yeah. Yeah. At the at the comedy clubs, these shows are ninety minutes. How can you not <laughs> yeah. make it ninety minutes? Right. If you if that happens, that means they never should have let you in. I think yeah. never should have let you in. You were too that's drunk true. when you got here. Yeah. I know. Well that that's yeah, the that, thing that most clubs true. won't do. One of the only clubs I remember a guy <laughs> we were standing there now. for the late show. It was uh Tyler in, in Winnipeg and we're watching people come in and this guy was like <laughs> and he was like being carried and I was like he's coming to the show and he was like no and they kicked his ass out I was like yeah because you already know you're gonna have to do that in 30 yes. minutes yeah yeah during do the it show now. they um they never do yeah they were carrying him they were carrying him now you're gonna have to carry his ass out during the show there was it was probably like 13 or 14 years ago I was uh middling in Shreveport yeah. oh yeah that and a guy a fell asleep in the front row uh -huh. <laughs> so I was bagging on him because he was asleep but I shouldn't have said anything because he was yoked yeah <sighs> and then he went I could hear him for the last 10 minutes of my set he was debating the the guy at the door uh as to whether or not he could just fight me and the guy's like you can't just fight him it's the, sh the show's going on and I was like there, there's better reasons than that man yeah I'm almost done <laughs> yeah <laughs> you gotta come up with something that's just a general you can't fight him please <sighs> yeah and they they eventually kicked him out. And then the guy was like, yeah, we knew that guy was going to be a problem. He uh, when they were buying tickets, he hit his wife in line and then they were next. And they were, and it was like two, please. And like, OK, front row, <laughs> front row. good." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Amazing. Yeah. I um, do. You, have you done um, Captain Brian's? No. Marco. Oh, I my God. <laughs> So there is this. That was one of the worst things I've the ever. The worst thing. So this is one of those you do like as your first headlining, and it was called, it was on Marco Island in Florida, and it was a seafood restaurant. The guy that owns it, Captain, he literally is a seafood captain, really nice guy, and so <laughs> a seafood captain. Yeah. A sea, it was a, a seafood. A seafood. Oh, a, a, like a, a fisherman. A seafood captain. <laughs> So, so <laughs> Captain Brian, they decorate it. You know, it's a proper seafood restaurant. So on the stage, there's a net behind you with all the fish that are caught in it, the crabs oh, and all nice. that stupid like shit. Like an anchor and shit, yeah. <laughs> <It's the stage. laughs> and then people are like cracking lobsters and look whatever and fucking fish. And like hammering it. This woman was so drunk. Her friends brought her in, and she, same thing, just like, Ugh. and she was wearing her pajamas. Oh my god! To the fucking show, and the same thing. They were like, front row. Here you go, lady. <laughs> <laughs> like, she came in her pajamas. The intent was to fall asleep at my show, and she did. And she did. It's an infuriating <sighs> there, there was, memory. Oh, there wasn't no. enough crab legs to wake her back up. What a, Dude, what there also was like there were incidents <laughs> the whole weekend I was there with audience. You yeah, know? like uh, middle had somebody with some that I, I had a, a incident with somebody and they were like I was like throw their ass out, dude, throw them out, and they were like they're 
sir? They're buying fucking crab legs. <laughs> <laughs> It's a like, trip on the Barbie. What are you, nuts? You want us to put your jokes ahead of their crab legs? Like, these are good customers. I was like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's a low bar. Yeah. Uh, so if you pay for stuff, you could just do whatever you want? Yep. Yeah, that, that was their philosophy. Oh, yeah. nice. Yeah. Um, yeah, I've never worked it, but feel free to hit me up. Which camera do I look at? Feel free to hit me up, Captain. <laughs> but the good part of the, yeah. the gig, which is why you did it, is that it was a dope-ass condo and he had two jet skis, so you and your yeah. feature act could ride the jet skis, and that that's why uh, everybody did it, because they're like, dude, there's a beach and you got jet skis. And like, that's how <laughs> stupid we were. Like, we but a, do the gig. a real good like <laughs> formula so for like a comedy club, like if you run a club or if you're a comedian, <laughs> you want to work the clubs that prioritize the food over <laughs> what you do on stage. Oh, you know? Right, right. The priority is swordfish <laughs> and clams well, that's and a, lobster. That's a good point. Like yeah. for all the young comics watching, you definitely want to do that because you're going to want to eat too. Yeah, you want to eat. <laughs> so, and that's the only thing you get to do there is eat. You don't get to cool. watch the show. I mean, no. they also said, they were like, you're not, yeah. you don't think we're going to like, we don't care what you do up there. They don't care. Like, <laughs> they did not care <laughs> one shit. There's drawn butter at the table. Like we have to... <laughs> That's what's important. Anyway. But can, yeah. I, can I tell you the best part about the gig was that Captain Brian was, like I said, a proper seafood <laughs> captain. Bless you. And <coughs> bless you. Ah, Omicron. <laughs> <laughs> and so he taught me some things that I will always remember to this day. For instance, tuna, never eat cheap tuna fish. Like if you're ever at a, a place and it's under a certain, or salmon, sorry, salmon as well, like, it, that's a shitty quality or grade of tuna or salmon because yeah. it's over farmed or whatever the fuck. So always get make sure it's expensive salmon or tuna. And that's I learned what that he from Captain you? Brian. Don't buy cheap fish. That's I <laughs> yeah. mean, you you think a guy <laughs> that the, <laughs> okay. the guy that owns a seafood restaurant. That's the that's, that's the mean. propaganda he's he's spreading. You were always if it's expensive. You were always good. buying discount fish. <laughs> <laughs> until you met him <laughs> you're like oh is this salmon three dollars let me get a bunch of it mm, you know who's got good salmon <laughs> applebee's yeah 7-eleven too 7-eleven's yeah. got I get, I get, that's why i eat sushi jesus um, <laughs> 7-eleven sushi <laughs> could you imagine hey you speaking of 7-eleven you know you're we're hot dog and gatorade you're legendary on the show yeah have you ever eaten the hot dog that looks like ground beef that spins around. No. Do you know what I'm talking no, about? No, 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 no. The ground beef dog? <laughs> well, no. It, bring this up. Because you would Is that eat. that 7-Eleven? Yeah, it's a 7-Eleven ground beef dog. Okay. The big bite? <laughs> oh, no. The that cheeseburger guy looks hot dog. right there. He the looks che- like the guy we saw drifting off. <laughs> the cheeseburger <laughs> hot dog. I bet that guy's watch is too tight, too. You know what? I mean, I might eat that. <laughs> Because ground beef you can make into any shape, and you could just make it into a hot dog shape. Yeah. Yeah. And then it's just it's good on the go <laughs> food. You know what? We'll try it. We'll try it this week. The cheeseburger I passed, big bite. <laughs> I passed, I walked by two Seven Elevens before I got to the Starbucks Dang. when I left my hotel, and it was only like a uh, two blocks. Oh wow. There you go. Are hot you dogs ready? are good though. They're so good. You ready? I'm ready. I heard you oh, looking for yeah. me. <laughs> Okay, it's time to play some TikToks. And, uh, <laughs> Thank God, I've been waiting. <laughs> you get to uh, react. You tell us how you feel. How do you feel? How does this make you feel? With a lock like that, I can still break into your house, and I can do it quietly. <laughs> I wasn't so quiet. Yeah, okay. I feel like I feel no, like he doesn't quiet. know the word quiet. Yeah. <laughs> Quiet's not good, but he did do that very efficiently and effectively, right? Yeah, yeah. But you still like if that means that they open the door, right? Oh, and the door opens out, right? And why? Like, so if you break, if you if you do the breaking in on the knob part, then just push the door, right? It's not gonna actually. If you take a sledgehammer to the doorknob, you don't have to do this shit quite. Yeah, the fucking yeah. the fucking chain is the, is yeah. for the guy who's like, sorry, didn't know someone was home. Yeah, that's like <laughs> that's just a, a polite burglar. Yeah, that's true. This one's for Tom. He likes to learn stuff sometimes. 
And I just think this was very, satisfying. very satisfying. Cool. Yeah. It just feels good to watch that. I feel. See, like. I don't know why he's doing that though. He's making I liked, designs. I liked, uh, oh, is he? I liked when it was all smooth. I thought it. I th- Weather spacing. Oh, okay. Uh, so when it because it expands and contracts okay. in the heat and the cold, perhaps. Oh. Mm. So what happens neat. if you don't do that? It breaks, cracks. Oh, it'll crack. How okay. do you know this, no dog? Because I'm smarter than you think. Not really. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean. Hey, good answer. <laughs> um, Is it the best? <laughs> I was pavement. Is pavement the best? Okay. Get out of my car now! I am just. Get out of you. my car now! I don't know where I am. Get out of my car now! <laughs> God damn you to hell! Sir. Get out of my car! I am asking Get out <laughs> of my car! It is my fucking goddamn property! Get out! Now! I would get out. Now! Is this how you felt when Charo and Blanco were with you? Yeah, inside. <laughs> one st- I give this guy one star. Out right fucking now! You are facing Get out violence. of my car! Where I'm facing a fucking moron! Get out! Now! You're facing the- No! <laughs> you have no right to scream at me? I will fucking talk to you any goddamn way I want. Really? Yes, I, I mean, fucking clearly. will. Just get and out. I have the right. You have the right to scream at me? Get out of my car! I think, I think you should leave. You have the right yeah. to scream at me. I have asked you to leave my car multiple times. And get I out of am my car. asking you in a get very out of educated my car. manner. Where am I? You're at a hospital. Where you need to be, get out of my car. Uh Oh. Can you get her out of my car, please? I can't put hands on. Where is the emergency room? That's on the other side. I'll walk you. On the other side? Yeah, I'll walk you over. Get out of my car. (laughs) Jesus, that was awesome. (laughs) That was for you, babe. Good job. That was for you. God. Made like that. I like how he, he like racing. never really stopped looking at his phone. He's yeah. just scrolling Instagram. Yeah, screaming and he at didn't, this lady. He didn't look at the phone, which was odd. When he turned around, he the phone. He didn't look at the camera. Right. You know, like his eyes never drifted towards the camera, which is unusual. Usually, people lock in on that. So you think he's a, you think he's an Uber driver? Yeah. I think he's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he got her yeah. close. Yeah. He's, you're at the hospital. <laughs> I wonder what happened right before yeah. this. Yeah. Like how do you, how do you get him this upset? <laughs> was mean, she like? Did you see his sunglasses? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he, he was mad when she got in he the was, car. He had, he had the uniform on. Yeah, he's got the uniform on. Yeah, he was just fuming. He's like, how'd you get into this country? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What is that? That's a tumor. Is it? Yeah. That's definitely a tumor. Oh. They didn't just eat a lot of spinach. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. Uh, I saw yeah. I saw one a TikTok. Did were you on no, you weren't on the bus with that uh the guy doing curls with the full barbell and both <laughs> biceps tear at the same time. Oh my god. Yeah, and they go doo, doo. <laughs> it Looks like little squirrels are in there. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> It's pretty great. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, and that, Damn. that's why I don't do that. That's why you don't do that. Yep. Holy Wait, shit! Wait, Jeff. Hold on. What is it supposed to be called? He's not a seafood captain, but what is he? <laughs> a fisherman. A fisherman, but he's a captain. Yeah. He's got a captain's license, and it was on the green room wall. It's like, what is he called? A seafood captain? Not a seafood. No, captain. not a seafood <laughs> captain. Uh, just a regular captain. Not I think. Captain. I mean, I, I'm not sure. I'm, I wasn't laughing because I know the answer. I'm right. laughing because I know yeah, seafood I'm, captain I'm is funny. Like, what is you're right. It? You're right. He's <laughs> a captain. But, he's, but what is he? Is he fisher? He's a fish captain. Not a fish captain. <laughs> He's uh, like, have you ever seen Jaws? A fishing yeah. boat captain. A fishing boat captain. The guy with the boat. What? Did, what would you right. call him? A captain. Yeah, see, nobody <laughs> watches Jaws and goes, you know Quint, the seafood captain? <laughs> <laughs> they take they take the seafood captain's boat out to catch that shark. You know he gets the food that becomes <laughs> seafood that you eat? So I just call him a seafood captain. <laughs> but it made sense, but we all understood. We understood, <laughs> we did understand. He's a fisherman. He's not a seafood captain. <laughs> Definitely not a but seafood But I like captain. a seafood captain. 
Depp, and like yeah. he, that would be rad. He's like, I cut the fish, and I'm then the I captain of the... seafood. Yeah, <laughs> it's mine. It's mine. <laughs> there's, a, there's a few people that rank me. Do you, you like a, seafood? <laughs> a seafood major. I'm a the seafood captain. colonel. <laughs> I'm just the seafood captain. Oh, excuse me, Commander <laughs> Seafood is here. <laughs> the admirals. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine you were. Imagine you were at a, uh, like a arm wrestling yeah. competition, and that person showed up, and they're like, "That's I gotta, I gotta no, <laughs> what the fuck?" Uh. Guess who just got fired? I did. <laughs> Guess who don't care? Me. Fuck this place and everybody here. That's a good way to do it. Yeah, I like that. Kind of is. Man, I never had, I never got fired when I had a cell phone. I know, so same. You would have done some good ones. Yeah, it would have been fun. Yeah, I've been fired before. Yeah. You ever get fired like that, like at work on a yeah, shift? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Guy fired me, and then uh, and then I called him a fucking asshole, and he was like, "You can't, you're still in uniform." So I took my I took my uniform shirt off, and I was in the front of the house, and I was like, "How about now? You're a fucking asshole, bro." <laughs> like. And I got my job back two months later. You did? What? Yeah, they fired that guy. That guy was an uh, asshole. Oh. Yeah. I wasn't wrong. <laughs> See? Where was it? A restaurant? It was an Applebee's, yeah. Oh. Yeah, so let's talk about the Applebee's, Applebee's menu. <laughs> I feel like it's inferior. I'm not pleased with Applebee's. To inferior to everything or inferior to old Applebee's? To any. Because it's both. Other, oh. Um... It's gotten worse. Oh, it has? Yeah. 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 Uh, it's like everything's gross and frozen and like not. Oh yeah, it's all microwave nonsense now. Uh, yeah, really. it's garbage. Yeah, they're the kind of the worst of that whole of their competitors, right? Yeah. I can't believe that fucking song is real. What's the song? The Applebee's date night song is a is. Uh, do you guys know what I'm talking about? No. It's like in the commercial, so it seemed like it was written. F- it's like a country music song, and it seemed like it was written for <laughs> Applebee's. But it was just a song that was written, and Applebee's was like, "Hey, that's about us." Oh my god! And they, right. they referenced Applebee's. In yeah, it? yeah, Applebee's date night. Uh, that sucks. It's but, a, it's, it's unbelievable that well, it's real. Cause, the, cause, people that like country music are fucking. They're they're the, they they they're just yeah we fancy soft like minded. Applebee's. Yeah. On a, oh my god. Yeah, that one. Hey, my girl is banging. Scroll down. She's so low maintenance. That's what you want. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She's dumb. Don't need no champagne poppin' entertainment. Take her to Wendy's. Can't keep her off me. She want to dip me like them fries in her Frosty. Holy shit. Yeah, yeah we fancy like Applebee's on a date night. Ugh. Got that bourbon street steak with the <laughs> Oreo shake. Oh, they're like actually talking about the menu. The, I, actually I'm talking about the menu. menu. And it's a real song. Like this song was a real song that someone wrote and didn't... And then it became an Applebee's commercial. That sucks. That's upsetting. Uh, don't need no Tesla. Don't need no Tesla to impress her. <laughs> My girl Bougie is like Natty in the styrofoam. Natural light in yeah. a styrofoam cup is bougie. Is bougie. Yeah. These people don't have never owned shoes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know. God. Yeah, and I and I'm not knocking this level of restaurant. I'm a huge fan Scroll down. of like Chili's. I like Chili's a lot. I like Outback, but I, Outback's higher than Applebee's. I would say. Yeah. Yes, Caliber. definitely. Fr- TJ Fridays. I like some of the items there too, but Applebee's is pure dog shit. Con- I, I country cannot. kisses on my lips without the skull in them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is it my birthday? You took your dip out. <laughs> this is a real song. A guy it's got hilarious. a guy made a hit. Yeah, it's on the radio. So it's a big song. Yeah, people hear this song and go, "Oh, this is my jam." Yeah. Wow. But country folks, I mean, come on, man. Yeah. Yeah. They're embarrassing. They walk around not getting not getting vaxxed because they because <laughs> because we're sheep and they're they're like, "But I like this Applebee's song." <laughs> <laughs> Put my shoes on and go to Applebee's. Point. Applebee's. It's no Margaritaville though. <laughs> <laughs> right, it's a, it's got a lot we of fun shit on the wall. Margarita. I've never been to it. Is it good? Never, so never perfect. been. You can't take it. Look at the belly. Oh, this leopard, psycho! What are you doing? Yes. Look at how pretty you are. You got a big heart right there on your belly, right on your belly. You just do that wrong once. <laughs> That's hot for me. <laughs> it looks like she's presenting. You're yeah. the handsomest mm-hmm. boy ever. 
Yeah, or he. How dare you misgender this cheetah? Well, I, I mean, I don't understand. What a beautiful animal. It seriously. is a beautiful animal, yeah, but... but uh, I don't don't touch the fucking I wouldn't animal. fuck with it. Stupid. So watch this. My cat literally closes the curtains on his shoebox house. That's cool. Isn't that adorable? It is adorable. I thought you'd enjoy that. Yeah, it's fun. That was that so that, cute. The cat in the in that box is showed more reaction to being touched than the tiger. Yeah. Wow, that's true. That's He's like, crazy. good night. <laughs> and he must have done it multiple times. Oh. Cleaning out some goalpost holes on synthetic grass. Got there. It's like he got a big old load on him. Looks like. <laughs> that looks like oh, poop. Mm. Oh, that's gonna be good. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was gonna pull like a a bird or something, like something worse than yeah. just dirt, old dirt. Oh my God, that was gnarly. Um. This was a lot of fun, Jeff. Yeah. Thanks for coming you're by. You're so funny, Jeff. We oh, were, thanks for we having me. LOL'd so hard. <laughs> um, <sighs> yeah. God, my head hurts. Tomorrow, tomorrow so we'll fun. do our push-up contest. Yeah, and yeah. Then, um, we'll report. Try to get we'll our report. muscles as big like that last one. Yeah, yeah dog. Uh, yeah, yeah, dog. Uh, be sure to check out Jeff Tate. You have like a whole bunch of albums. People can go uh, stream them, right? A lot Just of like, albums. Yeah. And by the time this comes out, my website will be done. JeffTateComedy.com. Yeah. There you go. Amazing. Yes. Um, you got great albums. You should. Are they on Pandora? They're on Pandora and all the, the all the streamers. Great, uh, check them out. We'll be on tour together. You might see us if you're coming to yeah. one of 280 shows left on the tour. And uh, check out ChristinaPOnline.com for tickets to your show. You got it. Here's the closing song. It's Alpha Advice by Wave Kings. I guess he's an alpha, huh? He's definitely an alpha. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, he's and, clearly um, an alpha. Uh, she's a 10, I tell her she's a 4. <laughs> Fuck you, bitch. Mm -hmm. Dump that bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Dump that Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Dump that Dump that Dump that, Dump that. Uh, She's a 10, I tell her she's a 4. <laughs> Fuck you, bitch. Mm -hmm. Dump that bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Dump that Yeah. You guys have yeah. to understand. Dump that Dump that Dump that Dump that Dump that Woman can only be a man of either alpha or beta. You see, you guys have to understand. You see, you, 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 you see, the female brain lacks intellectual capacity, and because a female lacks intellectual capacity, she therefore cannot fathom the fact that hey, a man can be alpha. Uh, she's a ted. I tell her she's a four. Oh, fuck you, bitch. Mm -hmm. Dump that bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Dump that. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Dump that. Dump that. Dump that. Uh, she's a ten. I tell her she's a four. Oh, fuck you, bitch. Mm -hmm. Dump that bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Dump that. Yeah. You guys have yeah. to understand. Dump that. Dump that. Dump that. Dump that. He can be the provider, and he can be the guy who's not attacking Hiroshima. That lady, woman. You guys have to understand. You see, now women are closer to animals than they are to men. You know, if a grizzly bear is gonna come after you, a grizzly bear is gonna come after you because you're either a threat or you are food. Not gonna come after you because you're food and a threat. It doesn't work like that. You're either a threat or a food, okay? Same thing with women. You're either beta or you are alpha. alpha, alpha, alpha. She's a four. <laughs> Fuck you, bitch. Mm -hmm. Dump that bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Dump that. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Dump that. Dump that. Dump, dump, dump that. Uh, she's a ten. I tell her she's a four. <laughs> Fuck you, bitch. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Dump that bitch. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Dump that bitch. Yeah. You guys have yeah. to understand. Dump that, dump, that, dump, that, dump that bitch. Yeah. Hi, Mommy. Thanks, Jeans. Thank you for watching this episode of Your Mom's House. And if you had a great time, watch more videos here, here, here. And don't forget to subscribe here, here, here so that you will know when a Your Mom's House video comes out immediately. Thanks, Jeans.